Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install VirtualBox on your Mac operating system, which are using M1 or M2 based chips, right? So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for VirtualBox. And the first link which will appear here will be from virtualbox.org. So I'm going to click on this link and then uh, you will be able to see this download button here. So I'm going to click on this download button. Now at the time of making this video, the download link for this latest version of VirtualBox 7.0.12, you will not see the version for the M1 or M2 based Mac operating system. So for the latest version at the time of making this video, ARM based or M1 or M2 based uh, uh, versions are not available for the latest version you need to scroll down a little where you will see some older versions. So I'm going to uh, da scroll down a little and then you will see this section which says VirtualBox Older Builds and then click on VirtualBox Older Builds link here. So I'm going to click on this and then you will be able to see the older builds. So as I said, the latest version at the time of making this video is 7.0.12. So I'm going to click on this uh, top one, which is VirtualBox 7.0. And then under the 7.0.8, you will see the version for M1 and M2 chip, right? It's not available under 7.0.10. Maybe in the future, VirtualBox is going to make it available. But at the time of making this video, this version is available only with 7.0.8. So I'm going to click on this link, which says developer preview for a Mac OS ARM 64 M1 M2 host. I'm going to click on it and then it's going to download this DMG file. So once this DMG file is downloaded, I'm going to click on this DMG file and then you can see this kind of installer. Let me minimize my browser. So once uh, this installer has been started, it says double click on the icon. So I need to just double click on this virtualbox.pkg icon, which is going to start the installer. So here I just need to click on continue. And then uh, it says this will take around 180 a megabyte of space. I'm okay with this. So I'm going to click on install and then provide my MacBook's password. So let me provide the MacBook's password and then press install software, which is going to start the installation of the virtual box. So in few seconds, you will be able to see this message which says installation was successful. So that means VirtualBox is installed successfully on your Mac operating system. I can close this installation window and then I can click on move to bin because I don't need this installer anymore. So move to bin and then I can go to the launch pad. So click on launch pad and then I can see the VirtualBox icon here. So I'm going to click on VirtualBox icon here and you can see VirtualBox has been started. So here now you can add any virtual machine by clicking on this plus button. And when you click on this plus button, it says VirtualBox would like to access files in your documents folder. I will just click on okay. And then if you have any ISO file, you can provide the path of that ISO file. Also, you can create a new virtual machine. So I'm going to click on new here. And then uh, from here, I can even install a new virtual machine on my VirtualBox. So this is how you can uh, download and install VirtualBox on your Mac operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.